Welcome back to Honest Mechanic, where I debunk automotive myths and bring you the hard facts about vehicle maintenance and care. Today's topic is a widely debated one. Should you warm up your car before hitting the road? Let's dive deep into the mechanics and science behind this question to give you a comprehensive understanding. Let's start with a bit of history. In the days of carbureted engines, warming up your car was more than just a recommendation. It was a necessity. Carburetors, which mixed air and fuel for combustion, struggled to do their job efficiently in cold temperatures. The result? Rough idling, poor performance, and a higher likelihood of engine stalling. Hence, drivers would let their cars idle until the engine reached a stable operating temperature, ensuring a smoother and more reliable drive. The automotive industry evolved and fuel injection systems replaced carburetors. This technology precisely controls the air-fuel mixture and adjusts it for temperature, load, and altitude, allowing engines to run efficiently from the moment they're started. This shift significantly reduced the need for prolonged idling before driving. Despite advancements, the debate persists. Let's address the concerns surrounding cold starts and engine wear. When an engine is cold, its fuel doesn't vaporize completely, leading to a richer mixture and potential fuel washing, where excess fuel strips oil from cylinder walls, reducing lubrication. However, Modern engines are designed to counteract this through improved fuel injection strategies and advancements in oil technology. The development of synthetic oils has been a game changer for cold starts. These oils maintain their fluidity even at extremely low temperatures, ensuring prompt and effective lubrication of engine components. This means that the fear of inadequate lubrication during cold starts is largely unfounded for vehicles using modern oils. For most modern vehicles, the best practice is to start the engine, wait a few seconds to a minute, allowing oil to circulate, and then begin driving gently. This method helps the engine reach its optimal operating temperature more quickly than idling. It's not just about the engine. Driving warms up the transmission, suspension, and tires, contributing to overall vehicle performance and safety. In extremely cold climates, a slightly longer idle time of 2-5 to five minutes may be beneficial to ensure that the oil flows freely. However, extended idling periods are unnecessary and wasteful. For those dealing with snow and ice, the time spent clearing your vehicle typically allows ample time for oil circulation. Prolonged idling has environmental and economic downsides. It wastes fuel and emits unnecessary pollutants into the atmosphere. By minimizing idle time, you contribute to environmental conservation and save money on fuel. The necessity of warming up cars is a relic of the past for most modern vehicles. Advances in engine design, fuel injection technology, and lubricants have made cold starts less of a concern. However, adopting gentle driving habits until your vehicle reaches its operating temperature is still recommended. This approach ensures optimal performance and longevity of your vehicle. So, in summary, go easy on those first couple of miles in frigid conditions, limit idling to the minimum, and utilize the best modern lubricants to protect your engine this winter. Your vehicle will start happily and run for many more years ahead. If you find this video helpful, please subscribe and share.